it to number one campground on the top five Texas State Park, top, the top five best Texas State Park list for 2021. Number one on the list. Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Sorry about the echo, but we're going to talk about this right here behind me. We're going to talk about the top five best Texas State Parks for 2021. This is the Dude RV interpretation. And looking at the map, for those, for those, if this is your first visit, this map is the blueprint of the mission and that mission is to visit all of the texas state parks in the texas state park system they're where i can take a motor home i'm not that's not saying that i'm not going to visit all the texas state parks but most specifically i'm focused on those where we can take our rv and can camp and of those there are 76 they are identified by the red and green dots. The green dots are the ones yet to visit. The red dots are the ones that we have already paid a visit to. And to date, that would be 62. We're, we're getting down to the wire. I'm gonna knock out these two. The, this one, pretty quick. Now there's not a camping here, but that's Washington on the Brazos. And so we're definitely gonna visit that state park. Uh, we're going to knock those out here in a couple of weeks. But for today's video, we're going to talk about the top five that I recommend you visit in 2021. In descending order, starting with number five. And it's, only, it's number five because it's, it's a pretty good haul from here. from Actually, from anywhere unless you live up in the Panhandle. We are going way up here to Caprock Canyon State Park. And why is it that I recommend you go see Caprock Canyon State Park? Well, let me tell you about it. Well, let's talk about Caprock Canyon and why I have added Caprock Canyon into my top five best Texas State Parks for 2021. Number one, it's the home of the official Texas State Bison Herd. And the big deal about that is they are a genetically pure strain of the South Plains, North American South Plains bison. They have not been, their genetics have not been intermingled with, with the bovine cow gene. Uh, they were, the, the herd started when Charles Goodnight's wife heard the baby calves crying in the night during the, the bison slaughter and and she made mr goodnight go round up these baby calves uh, and protect them and thanks to the goodnight family we actually have a bite texas state bison herd that is is genetically pure uh, it's also just a really beautiful location. You know, everybody that goes to the Panhandle camping in the Texas State Park, they, they talk about Paladero Canyon, uh, and they don't even know about Caprock Canyons. We visited both on the same journey, and for me, I just was, I just really liked that Caprock Canyons scenery better than I did the Paladero Canyon scenery. You know, it's personal opinion. There's a little lake where you can do some fishing and when there's water in the lake, because it was really low on our visit, but you can actually, there's a swim, there's a beach. Uh, the campsites were, were private for the most part. There's, they're kind of close together, but you've got uh, juniper cedar trees sheltering you from seeing your neighbor, giving you some privacy. Uh, be, do, do note that the bison roam free in the park and you may very well have them come pay a visit to your campsite. And bison are not to be trifled with. They, they are, uh, there's more people that die as a result of interacting with bisons in the United States than uh, with grizzlies. Uh, Caprock Canyons 
is far enough removed from the suburban light pollution that the night sky is just stunning. If it's clear, you're gonna see so many stars. So, so for me, that's why Caprock Canyons State Park is in my top five Texas State Parks list for 2021. All right, number four on the list. And this one, this one's a new one for me. We just, we just came back from there. I have yet to release that video. It'll be coming up in a couple of weeks, but I want you to know about it while you still have time to go see it in 2021. We're headed south. We're headed down to the lower Brazos River, Brazos Bend State Park. Such a beautiful place. And here's why I really think you ought to go see Brazos Bend in 2021. Brazos Bend State Park. Now this one is a this one is brand new for me. I was there just a couple of weeks ago. I haven't even uh, published the videos from our visit, and there were there were multiple videos. So why do I think Brazos Bend needs to be on that on number four on that top five list? That is one beautiful park. It is east of Houston, not too far from the Gulf Coast. It is in the southern Brazos River floodplain. Not quite the delta, but it is in the floodplain down there. And it is truly one of the, the most unique Texas state parks that I've been to. Now, all Texas state parks are, are unique. Um, some are just a, a, a level above, and Brazel's Bend falls into that category. They've got something for everyone. Whereas Caprock Canyons, you're either tent camping or in, in your motor home because there's no cabins, there's no shelters. At Brazel's Bend, they have both shelters and cabins as well as tent camping and RV sites. And there's a lot of RV sites. There's two RV loops. It is, it, it's, it's hard to describe. It, it's a, it, there's swamp lands. So there's, it is known for alligators. There's actually trails that take you out into the, the swampy lakes with an observation tower so you can look for alligators. I only saw one. Of course, the weather was, was not very conducive. It wasn't real pleasant for our visit this year, uh, but there's also woods there's a, there's thick forest cover super quiet there i heard no road noise the occasional airplane but not too bad um just so many birds the wildlife everywhere you turn and for me one of the the most exciting things were trails that were scooter friendly and when I say scooter friendly, I'm talking about I, I, anybody could take their, their mobility scooter on the majority of the trails in Brazos Bend State Park. And I have got video footage that will be coming out, multiple trail rides in, that, in the uh, scooter trail ride playlist so that you guys who have scooters or mobility challenges, you can check this out and, and see that I'm steering you straight. You want a place to ride your scooter? Brazos Bend State Park. I could not find a trail that I couldn't ride on. And it was muddy and raining while we were there. So Brazos Bend State Park is number four on the list. Uh, I don't think that it would be a place I would want to camp in July and August, September, simply because it's going to be really hot, muggy, uh, with the trees, there's not going to be a lot of wind, and I, I'm just I'm positive there's going to be a ton of mosquitoes there. So uh, that'd be a fall or spring trip for me. Brazil's been number four on the list. Number three on the list. Number three. We're going to go up in, in into the East Texas Piney Woods and pay a visit to. Lake Bob Sandlin State Park. And here's why I like Lake Bob Sandlin State Park. So number three on the 
top five best Texas state parks for 2021. Number three, so we're talking about Lake Bob Sandlin State Park out in the East Texas Piney Woods. I really enjoy the East Texas Piney Wood Campground, whether it's a, no matter where that, where that park is, if it's in the Piney Woods, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy it. But Lake Bob Sandlin, for me, rises slightly above the rest. Number one, it's not uh, overcrowded, like some of the, a couple of those East Texas Piney Wood Texas State Parks are just way too overcrowded. Uh, Lake Bob Sandlin doesn't have all of the stuff that you would find at, for example, Tyler or Dangerfield, you know, with the boat rental and all that. There, there's water access and then there's tranquility. <laughs> so it's more of a boating campground, but unlike most of the places that are catering to the boaters, it's still a fantastic place to camp. They have cabins and screen shelters, so you don't have to worry about having a tent or a motorhome or an RV to go. Um, just a beautiful park, quiet, I saw deer, live, you know, wildlife while we were there. So Lake Bob Sandlin State Park, number three. Number two on the list. We're coming down to the wire now. Number two, we're not gonna go too far south from the Dallas Metroplex and pay a visit to Fairfield Lake State Park. And here's why I think you ought to go see Fairfield Lake State Park in 2021. Number two, Fairfield Lake State Park. Uh, I, I, I have reservations, had reservations about, about putting this out <laughs> on YouTube saying, yeah, this, this is in the top five Texas State Parks for 2021. This is one that you really must go see because now word's gonna get out and, and one of my all-time favorite Texas State Parks is going to become overcrowded. Uh, but I owe it to you, my viewers, to do, to do the right thing. Fairfield Lake is unique in that it is uh, a small, or it's a, it's a power plant lake, but it's not a huge power plant lake. So the, the power plant actually keeps the water in the lake warm, so fishing is good year-round. It is the only lake in Texas that I'm aware of where you can catch blue tilapia. And there's no limit. Just know you won't catch them on a hook. They're, they're not meat eaters. They're vegetarian. So you have to have a cast net. But there's no limit and there's no size limit either. You can catch all you want, no matter how big or small they are but you've got to clean them in the park. You cannot take live fish out of the park because they are an invasive species. Uh, the campgrounds are recently remodeled, so the sites are super level, most for the most part. They're, they're really level concrete pads in a beautiful setting. It's the, the Cross Timbers hardwood forest setting with just tons of shade during the summer. Uh, there's easy access to the water in many places. The, the one downside is that the lake is warm, so the reeds are crazy during the summer. Um, the very active day use area from the locals coming down to fish, big day use area. But it's a big park. It's five miles from the gate to the farthest point in the campground uh, so there's there's lots of wood forest woods and forest and stuff to explore lots of trails they're not very scooter friendly trails uh, but it's just a really nice place uh, we really enjoy stopping and camping there Fairfield Lake State Park at number two on the list we have gone through four of the top five best Texas state parks for 2021. We are down to the very last one. And that is going to be 
Lake Mineral Wells State Park. Not too far west of Fort Worth. And here's what I like about Lake Mineral Wells State Park. Number one on the list. Lake Mineral Wells State Park. I've already shown you on the map where it is. It's just west of Fort Worth. It's just, that place touched, I mean, that is just, it is, it's a cross timbers, forest, oak trees, just thick forest. It is just so beautiful. It is a small, the, the whole lake is inside of the park. Perfect for a small watercraft. Lots of little inlets to explore. Lots of fish. It's really cool. You drive across the dam spillway to get to the campground. The day use area is on one side and the camping is on the other and you have to drive across the, the water running over the dam to get to the campground. I thought that was really cool. Uh, there's places to rock climb. There's just lots of, there's tons of hiking trails. Wildlife is so abundant, it's, it was crazy. That, I probably saw more deer sitting in camp there than I have anywhere else, in any other Texas state park. Literally, there were herds of deer just walking through my campground looking at me like, what are you doing here? There is a puma in the park and campers have reported seeing that puma take down deer in the campground, so you might get lucky. Keep your dogs on a leash and keep them close. You, you should keep your dogs on a leash anyway. Uh, Lake Mineral Well State Park. That's just, that's one I'm, I'm just aching to go back to. So that is why it is number one on my top five Texas State Parks for 2021 list. I want to go back. I, I was only there for one night, one day, and it was not nearly enough. So there you have it. There's my top five Texas state parks for 2021 and why I think those are places that you should visit this year. So that's the Dude RV top five best Texas state parks for 2021. Hey, if you've been to any of these parks or if, you want, if you're planning on going to any of these parks, post a comment down there and tell us what is it that you're most excited about for visiting those particular Texas state parks? If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure would appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. And if this video was informative and helpful, please click on the thumbs up and share me out across your social media. And for those who have been following along, thank you. I'm so very deeply honored. And I'd like to give a specific shout out to my patrons. Y'all rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?